what are you here to present at the conference? Uh, I'm here to uh, present how frog tongues are so sticky, uh, looking at their saliva and how it affects adhesion. I bring a poster. I feel the dry ice in the a uh, dry ice smoke in a bubble and a ruptured bubble. Mm -hmm. uh, when the bubble film ruptured and it recedes, this movement will interact with the dry ice smoke in it. It finally turned out to be a really beautiful picture. It looks like a Buddha's hair. So I presented um, large-scale simulations of uh, turbulent multiphase flows. Maybe you have sand, and you just drop the sand, and the sand will actually start to cluster due to instabilities and due to entrainment of the gas, and that will induce turbulence in the flow. So what I was presenting was um, very large-scale simulations run on the second biggest, currently second biggest computer in the world um, to understand the interaction between the turbulence and the particles. I'm presenting a poster in the Gallery of Fluid Motion. It's uh, looking at boundary layer separations on the stationary vein rows in a three-stage axial compressor. Compressor is the front part of a jet engine, and boundary layer materials models and boundary layer separations are one of the most difficult things for compressor designers to model and capture correctly. I'm here to present water droplets on bouncing on super hydrophobic surfaces. One of the bad things that happen when a droplet bounces on such a surface is when it wants to rebound it gets pinned uh, which is undesirable in many applications so we found that by applying a little bit of heat to the surface we can get that pinning uh, action to to subside what is the coolest thing that you have seen at the conference the invited session on uh, internal waves in the sea it was basically about how there are waves under the surface of the sea and they can uh, they cause a lot of mixing. I suppose the most important thing I'd have thought from it is that the ice in the Arctic, if that gets removed, then the, these waves get bigger, which means they bring temperature changes to the ocean, which then cause more ice to be removed. Uh, so it's kind of like a feedback process. It means the ice would melt pretty quickly. I actually just got out of a talk that was looking at a, an espresso machine for the International Space System. Space Station, um, and they were even dropping an entire espresso machine in a drop tower. One of the videos I saw was a uh, Schlieren imaging of someone blowing out a match, and it's spectacular to see. They slowed it down to 10,000 frames a second right as the breath of air was extinguishing the match, and just seeing the interaction of the jet from the person's mouth with the buoyant plumes coming off the flame was unbelievable. The coolest thing I've seen so far has got to be the laser safety goggles for the parrot. When they, there was somebody who was doing a wind tunnel study on a parrot and they had to make laser safety goggles for the parrot. The coolest thing I've seen at the conference has been a droplet being blasted by a laser by the University of Twente. So you just have a falling droplet and then you blast it with a, with a laser and it just explodes. Like I mean in every direction. It was super cool. The coolest thing I saw is my crazy famous ancestors. <laughs> we have fifth generations here. Wow, five academic yeah. generations here. That's incredible. What is your favorite fluid dynamics instability? Totally shake the wave. Sure. <laughs> Instantly, yeah. My favorite fluid dynamics instability is when a jet of water is coming down and it breaks down into droplets. And I believe that's called the... Uh, really plot instability. Safman Taylor instability, um, which is a, it's a fingering effect. I guess I like the Kelvin Humboldt's instability. I've never seen it myself, but I've heard you can see it in the clouds. I'm a big fan of the Rayleigh Taylor instability, um, especially when you can see it in salt fingering instabilities in estuaries and in the ocean. I have to say my favorite instability is Tears of Wine. I actually have a tattoo of a Kelvin Humboldt's instability. Oh, can you can you hold that up so we actually <laughs> see that a little higher? Yeah, there we go. So this is a Excellent. cloud with the Kelvin Humboldt's instability.